Welcome back to Four More Minutes. I am Sam Bailey, the Soul Stir. I appreciate all of you who joined in today and especially those who will be willing to share these videos. And then I gotta add, please subscribe to these videos as you can be a part of putting inspiration, encouragement, and motivation out into the world. Today, I just want to tell you that it's on leadership. Everything rises and falls on leadership, whether it be in a home, if there's poor leadership in a home, whether you be a single parent trying to do it by yourself or uh, in a traditional household where there can only be one head, one leader, whether it be a school and there's weak leadership at the top, whether it be a principal or administratively in a congregation where the leadership lacks vision and direction and relevancy and, and real connection with the people, no matter where you go. It's funny how I see a lot of people now praising Deion Sanders, which rightfully so. He's gone into an organization, he's changed the culture of that organization, and he's brought a different spirit. And they went from just last year winning one game to being undefeated in their first three games because he was himself and he's made people believe in him and what he can do. And so I wanna encourage you today, if you're a leader in any capacity on any level, take responsibility. Now, it doesn't mean that you have to control people. You can't force people to follow you. People have to want to follow you. Good soldiers want to follow their captain or their general or because they lay down, lay down the example. They set forth the proper example through action, through speech, and really most importantly through sacrifice, they, be, they would be willing to give up themselves for the people that they love. And I think we have to consider that in our own lives. Are we under weak leadership or are we not being the type of leaders that we should and ought to be? I mean, if you think about it, it's everywhere, whether it be in our local state governments, our local leadership can, can destroy a city or higher up than that, a state or even nationally, the national government. And when you have leaders that are corrupt, that succumb to bribes and can be bought and can be influenced instead of listening to God or listening to their better voice that's inside of them that tells them the right versus the wrong thing to do or to be selfish and not care about the people who you've been entrusted to lead or not even be a true servant because at the core of any level of leadership is servant. Someone who serves, public servants, that's what our elected officials are, public servants. Even in the church, our elders or church leaders, they're just shepherds, they're, they're, they're there to, to watch men's souls and that's, that's the number one job. And I think when you look at you know, sports, they, sports business, you know, we see, I think, good formulas a lot of times. You gotta have the right leader and you gotta the right staff. And they create a team atmosphere where everybody's important, everybody's valued. But one thing I learned in coaching is you've got to learn and know how to put the right people in the right position. If you don't put the right people in the right position, you can't really have the success that you desire. So I want you to consider that and think about that. Are, are you putting the right people in the right position in your life to be successful? And sometimes good leaders have to put other people in positions that they don't even realize they need to be in. And sometimes that means you gotta help somebody know that you might have to do something differently than you want to do, that you've been used to doing it, but in the end it's for the greater good of the team. So just remember that. Be the type of leader that people can respect. They may not like everything you do, but they ought to respect that you believe in something and stay with it and really serve. And you will truly be a blessing to those that are around you. So thank you today, and I'll see you next time. Thank you for joining right here.